Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training session which is on computing center management system. Basically what this means is that this is a utility or this is a way of monitoring SAP system. So let me go to the slide where we are talking about what we should be monitoring. Okay, and why do we need to monitor it? Who will be monitoring it and when it should be monitored? So let's get into the answers of these questions. What basically the components in R3? That is R3, that is applications, application server, buffers, and the next thing is the databases, like the performance, the backup, then in the operating system, we have CPU, we have memory, the file system. Okay, then next question is why, why we need to do the monitoring. Basically, just to keep the system with the running, imp running with the improved performance and who should be monitoring it, it's the administrators who should be monitoring it and when it need to be monitored periodically. We need to define the periodic frequency depending on the criticality of the activity. Okay, then monitoring concept and alert monitor. Okay, all objects to be monitored are summarized in one tree which displays all the information necessary for monitoring and maintaining your system. Okay, so each system component Okay, so each system component is represented by a monitoring object. You can see that this is a monitoring object like desk is one of the monitoring object. CPU is another monitoring object. Buffer is another monitoring object. And to see how CPU is, uh, what parameter of CPU need to be monitored, we need to find the monitoring attribute for it. That is whether we need to monitor the idleness of the CPU, do we need to monitor the, the load on the CPU, then next is on the buffer, the buffer hit rate we need to monitor. So this is basically the monitoring attribute, monitoring object that we just saw. So each system component is represented by a monitoring object. These objects have different attributes we just saw, say CPU is we just saw it is idleness, buffer hit ratio is for the buffer. So these attributes receive data and may create alerts. So the monitoring object summarizes alerts and propagate from higher tree nodes. So we use this information to display the current status of your system or to analyze its history and any alerts that has occurred. So the term monitoring tree, tree element is used to denote any node in the tree. So these are basically the, the MTEs. Say for example, operating system like databases. So they are the MTEs that is monitoring tree element. Now let's get into the architecture of it. Okay, in the monitoring architecture, at the center of it, you can see the monitoring object. Okay, so different monitoring objects. And here you have the data suppliers, that is DB is supplying the data, you have OS supplying its data, R3 is supplying its data, and you have the consumer API, that is through RZ20, you are collecting all that data. So that is about it, and data suppliers, you can call them as collection methods. Okay, then monitoring objects we have seen and performance database represents a series of tables in the R3 database that store the collected information and performance data. Okay, then next is let's get into the transaction RZ20. Okay, so to get into RZ20, what we need to do is uh, let's go through this slide before getting into the RZ20 transaction. Okay, we have at the top is the view type that is which MTE we are seeing. Okay, so basically in the MTEs we have 
okay these are the things you can see that this is one empty this is another empty this is another empty so all three nodes are empties okay then monitoring objects basically represent one physical or logical object it summarizes alerts and propagates to higher nodes then monitoring attributes we just saw it's basically the for say for example cpu what you want to monitor disk space what you want to monitor so that is the monitoring attribute that is say for example i want to see an alert when there is a disk is say 98 percent full so that is 98 percent full is one of the monitoring attribute okay so that is about the monitoring alert monitor so how it looks like in a system we will see in a minute now next is the thresholds and analysis methods okay so the alert monitor uses a color scheme to indicate the severity of each alert displayed red me green means okay red is a problem and white means there is no data collected for that particular thing Okay, so let's get into one of the system. Okay, so we are in the system right now. So let me show you how we come to this screen. Okay, so let's get into the transaction, say RZ20. Okay, in the RZ20, here you can see that these are the different CCMS monitoring sets. So let's take one of the CCMS monitoring set, say, for us the most relevant will be say let's take uh, bi monitors okay so in the bi monitor let's double click this say okay here there is not much data so let me select one where we have enough data say let's say i'll select monitoring the erp template monitoring say j2e system okay let's go into the ABAP system monitoring okay this has some data here you can see there is this is a red that means there is some problem so let's drill down to see what is the problem okay here you can see that there are some things which is green that means everything is okay some things is white that means there is no data for them and green means this is okay so here you can see that these are the things where we are collecting the data which is fine okay here if i expand this there is no data for this so it is shown as white and you can see things like say this one here we have it as red okay white is red because there is something wrong with the dialog okay so in the dialog what is wrong with it here you can see that this is the reason why it is okay so this is basically the attribute which is having problem so that is how we get into uh, the the different monitoring components okay so we have seen why it is red and how to read this particular uh, the monitoring sets okay you can create your own monitors as well say for example you can define okay what are the things you want to monitor okay you can monitor the remote system as well from here so to monitor remote systems we just need to use the transaction rz21 okay so let's see how it works so if i give this particular transaction code rz21 here this is where we specify the transaction code okay just press enter here you can see this these are the monitoring methods and the monitoring fields okay say for example monitoring definitions i want to see i can just click on this display overview for okay so we can define the monitoring from here basically okay then next is say for example i want to see system overview i can just click on display system overview so this will show me which are the systems which are connected or monitored from here then the different aspects of uh, the monitoring can be seen here say for example mt specific 
properties you can see from here okay so let's get into the next slide okay we just saw the remote monitors okay so that's all actually i wanted to cover in this particular training session thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye